Oh, hi there! The gods up there at Behavior have blessed us with the 6.7 mid-chapter update. I will be your helpful guide through these changes. Now, you might be a little confused walking around the new Auto Haven. That's because Auto Haven has been reworked. Some of the biggest changes you may notice is that main building on the Blood Lodge has been moved towards the middle of the map, and Gas Haven has been cleaned up a bit. Now there's less cars for you to run around, allowing you to cut through the wreckage. Some other changes you may notice is that the Poop Loop has been changed to a new design, giving it a more of a three-lane vibe. As well as map changes, some killers have been updated regarding their Lightborn mechanic. If you didn't know, the flashlight had some special uses on specific killers. All of these Lightborn mechanics have been removed. You can no longer Lightburn Wraith, Spirit's Husk, Destroy Artist's Crows, Destroy Hag Traps, and Burn Nurse. Which means... Nurse buff. But not just the light burn effects have been changed. There are a few other killer specific changes. Hag's Traps can now be destroyed by crouching over her traps and wiping them away. This mechanic is new and is very similar to the Trapper's Trap Disarming ability. <laughs> That's right survivors. You can now destroy one of her 10 traps placed under your hook. Pinhead can no longer stand on his box. Billy's overheat has been reduced while revving, but increased while sprinting and Clown's Pinky Finger add-on reduces the number of bottles by an additional three. There's also been an update on some big perks on both sides. On the killer side of things, the devs have decided to reduce the gen regression on multiple perks. Call of Brian has been reduced by 75%, Overcharge has been reduced by its max regression by 70%, Scorechuck Pain Residence has now changed into a token system. You start the game with four tokens, and every time you hook a survivor for the first time, you lose a token, and the gen highest regresses by 25%. And lastly, Gearhead, everyone's favorite perk, now activates on good skill checks instead of great. Survivors have had a few changes in their perks as well. Boon's Circle of Healing no longer allows you to self-heal within its radius, instead revealing the aura of any injured survivor within its radius and allowing you to heal others at 100% speed. This speed does not stack with medkits though. Overzealous has had a small buff, increasing the repair speed up to 10% now, and also activates whenever you boon a totem. And lastly, Deadhard is the same as before, but now only usable after you get unhooked. If you use Deadhard successfully, it deactivates until next time you are unhooked. And time for the biggest change, medkits. All medkits, regardless of rarity, will start with 24 charges, but has a 33 decrease in efficiency and speed when self-caring. This means you are only allowed one self-care per medkit, or two if you stack double charge add-ons. Huh? Well, that's new. Some smaller quality of life changes have also been added. A visual heartbeat will now appear for the heart of hearing, and this heartbeat represents the killer's terror radius. The blood web now has an auto-buy feature, allowing you to AFK farm spend your blood points. You can also select the end of any node and it'll auto buy the quickest route to that item. And that's it for the 6.7 mid chapter updates. Don't forget to stay positive and I'll see you in the fog.